Hey everybody, Jem Schofield here and welcome to the Canon EOS C300 Mark II video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be talking about custom pictures, we're going to be talking about gammas, we're going to talk about color space, we're going to talk about color matrix, we'll even apply a LUT, so let's get started. And what we'll do to do that is go into the menu, we want to go to the custom picture or CP menu, and when we go in there, the first thing we want to do is take a look at the presets. These are combinations of a gamma curve, we've got a color space, and there's also actually a color matrix being applied as well. So Canon Log 2, what is it? It's really a logarithmic gamma curve that takes full advantage of the full dynamic range of the sensor in this camera system. In order to use it effectively, we also want to make sure that we are setting our camera ideally to the native ISO or ISO. In this camera, for Canon Log 2, that's 800, and that's what I have the camera set to right now. Cinema gamut, what is it? It's a huge color space. It's much bigger than BT2020, which is really gonna be the new version of Rec. 709, but for ultra high definition television. So when we're looking at 3840 by 2160 instead of 1920 by 1080, we're going to a broader color space in 2020, but it's nowhere near as big as cinema gamut. When we're using cameras like this, what we want to do is want to capture the most information that we can, so when we get to the post-production process, we have all of that information to work with. And we can take a look at some other presets. Now, while in most situations, I would recommend Canon Log 2 and cinema gamut, because we're getting full dynamic range and that huge color space, some productions, may want to use a different workflow. So what we can do is we can change that. Now we have Canon Log 2 and BT2020, the color space that will eventually be our standard for ultra high definition. And now we're going to choose DCI-P3. This is Digital Cinema Initiative, and this is really for digital cinema projection. Again, maybe not something you're going to use in every production, but if somebody wants it, it's here in the camera. And then we go down to Canon Log 2 Rec. 709 or BT 709. Now, why would you want this with a more reduced color space? Well, you're going to always have to make exposure changes for Canon Log 2, but if you want to match up and you know your delivery is going to be Rec. 709, then maybe on certain productions you want to use this color space because in the grade, it's going to be a lot easier. Everything's going to be aligned with what you're going to deliver to for high definition television. And we have Canon Log, and Canon Log uses the Canon Log Gamma, BT709 or Rec709 for the color space, and then our color matrix is Cinema EOS Original. So one of the things that you'll notice here is that my exposure changed, and that's because we're using now the Canon Log Gamma instead of Canon Log 2 Gamma. And so that would mean that I would definitely have to open up my lens a little bit in order to get correct exposure using this particular gamma. And that's something you need to remember anytime you're changing these presets, but most importantly, when you're changing the gamma curve inside of your camera system. So we'll switch from Canon Log to BT2020, and when I step out of that, again, totally different gamma, so I'm gonna have to adjust my exposure for my image. This is using the YDR gamma. We've got, in terms of our color space, BT2020, and then our color matrix is neutral. And then back into the menu, and one more, we've got BT709, that's our Rec709 preset. That's using YDR again. And the thing that's nice about YDR is it's really tuned to 709 in terms of gamma matching your color space, which is 709, and then our color matrix here is neutral as well. This is really easy to grade, very little to do, as long as your white balance is correct for your image. So there are your different options for your presets. So we're now gonna set preset to off, and I'm gonna back out of my presets, and we're gonna talk about main settings. When we go into the main settings menu, what we're looking at here are three choices. And these three things were all being used for all of those presets but now we get to go in and figure out what combinations we want to use. Be warned, this is where people get themselves in a lot of trouble when they start to paint in camera, especially when they start to combine gamma, color space, and color matrix. The presets are there for a reason, 
If you want to go on set and you want to get the most out of your camera, set it to Canon Log 2 and Cinema Gamut. That preset would be my recommendation. So under Gamma, there are a lot of choices here and a lot more than we saw under preset. These are our gamma curves, and some of them are logarithmic, and some of them are linear, but we can take a look at what we have here. We have Canon Log 2, Canon Log, YDR. Those are the three that are being used to create all of the presets. We have EO standard, which will tend to be very contrasty if you're trying to match with things like Canon DSLR cameras. And then we also have some standard gammas here, and you can refer to your manual in terms of what those are, but those gammas are really designed primarily to work with Rec. 709 color spaces. So those options are there. Now, let's take a look at our Canon Log 2 gamma and set that. And then let's talk about our color spaces. And we have four of them in here. And we have talked about all of them when we talked about the presets. We've got Cinema Gamut, BT2020, DCI P3, and BT709. What I'm recommending in most situations is Canon Log 2 and Cinema Gamut. There might be situations where you'll want to go ahead and just use Canon Log with one of these, and that's going to be based on your shooting situation or scenario and also your experience with the camera. But let's just say for now we're going to combine our Canon Log 2 Gamma with our Cinema Gamut. And then here's where things could really change potentially for you. And this is a menu that I think some people might be interested in if they turn their presets off and want to go ahead and create their own combination in terms of a custom picture. Every single one of the presets that we talked about earlier used the neutral color matrix, except for one, which used the Cinema EOS original. That was our Canon Log one. There is also a really interesting color matrix in here for me, which is called production camera. And one of the things that I do recommend is trying a combination of Canon Log 2 for your gamma, using for your color space Cinema Gamut, and trying production camera as your color matrix. So this is really designed to reproduce colors more suitable for digital cinema or motion picture production. And when we take a look at this, and I'll just roll camera on it, this color matrix is really, really nice, combined with Canon Log 2 and also, again, our Cinema Gamut. So that three-part combination might be something that you want to try. I would also recommend, not on a real shoot, but on a test shoot, trying Canon Log and then using that with a combination of either Cinema Gamut or BT2020, and then also trying production camera. One other thing I want to show you here is we're going to go ahead and choose any one of our presets. And the reason we're going to do this is if you want to apply a LUT either in camera or push it out from the C300 Mark II, you have to use a preset. I'm going to go to my preferred combination here. And this is Canon Log 2 C Gamut. And I'm going to go down to my Assistance Functions menu. And then when I do that, I'm going to scroll down to LUT or Lookup Table. And inside of this menu, I have four options. Now, what are these options? Well, the first one is pretty obvious. We're turning the LUT on or off. So we can turn that on. The other three are, where am I seeing that LUT applied? So our first option here is to the MON and HDMI out. And we can choose one of three LUTs to apply to that, DCI, BT2020, or BT709. And the second one is out of the record out, OK? So if I do, in fact, want to see this, and this is only in 2K. So if I'm doing a raw 4K out, I can't apply a LUT. But in this situation, if I do have it set to 2K output, which I'll talk about in another video when we talk about recording options, then I can, in fact, again, DCI, BT2020, Rec. 709, and apply that LUT. And then the last option here is actually the LCD and the viewfinder in the C300 Mark II itself. And I can turn that on, and we'll immediately see a difference in the monitor when I select it, and I back out of here, and we can see that Rec. 709 LUT being applied to the image. Um, in fact, if you really want to see it on an external monitor, 
I can go to that and apply it as well. Let's take a look at BT2020, and I've applied a BT2020 LUT here and essentially a Rec709 LUT to my internal monitor. So lots and lots of options here in terms of what you can do. And when we talk about a monitor like the DPV2410, that does support, of course, Rec709, but it also gives you the options with that expanded color space with BT2020. So it's a great match with the C300 Mark II. We're gonna talk about that combination, this camera and that display in another video, but that's custom picture with the C300 Mark II.